Mr. Kok Hing Lun. Question 12. Sorry, I mean 11. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, under the NLB Act, public records, which are more than 25 years old, become a part of the public archives. The National Archives facilitates the public's access to the archived government documents for the purpose of reference or research, subject to conditions or restrictions imposed by public agencies. The standard operating procedure for the declassification of government <coughs> documents is as follows. The National Archives of Singapore, or NAS, digitizes government documents in their existing formats, whether they are microfilm or paper records. NAS sends the digitized government documents to the relevant agency for declassification. The agency will review the government documents and decide if the documents can be released for viewing, citation and reproduction. During the review of documents, the agency will take into account national security concerns, confidentiality obligations and personal privacy considerations. If the documents can be released, their metadata will be made available through NAS's archives online so that the documents can be made searchable. Mr. Kok. Uh, thank you, uh, SMS, for the uh, reply. I have some supplementary questions for it. Uh, I think I asked this question in light of all the interest on history uh, debate, and I think I've heard from historian that they would like to have more access. So are there actually barriers for researchers to access this information? And if there are, what are the kind of barriers that comes about? And, uh, and secondly, are these documents categorized in terms of sensitivities? Uh, so uh, for some that you think uh, the agencies may think that no, uh, is sensitive at this moment, are there timelines to actually look at declassifying them? Thirdly, would it be possible that uh, instead of not allowing public access, uh, that actually uh, information, some of the documents can be redacted so that you know, the sensitive parts can be uh, you know, covered and then people can access it? Uh, the last question, uh, have all government documents been passed to uh, the National Archives for the, uh, over, this, over this year? Thank you. Um, the answer, uh, sir, to Mr. Kok Heng Loon's supplementary questions, um, actually the first three are all related. In terms of the researchers' requests, when they make a request to view documents, um, the public agencies that originated the documents will have to be consulted. Uh, and the criteria I have talked about, these are uh, to do with national security concerns, confidentiality obligations, and personal uh, privacy considerations. So uh, once these have been decided upon, then the documents can be declassified and then made available uh, for public search and also made available to the re uh, researcher uh, for reviewing and for, uh, for study. And uh, the for his fourth question, uh, as uh, I have explained, um, the public records, uh, which are more than 25 years old, become a part of the public archives. So uh, if the researchers go onto our NASS archives online and they can't find what they're looking for, they can make a request and uh, the process of then contacting the agency and also seeking the agency's views as to whether or not the various considerations to do with security and privacy and so forth uh, have been dealt with will commence. Mr. Kong. Thank you, SMS, for the reply. Can I check, uh, is it true that uh, certain, uh, certain documents will only be uh, uh, allowed for certain researchers to actually to look through? that you actually do select researchers uh, and not open to all researchers? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I do not know that to be true. Mr. Leon Pereira. 
to the SMS, would you be able to comment on roughly what proportion of documents actually make their way onto the NAS online as opposed to documents that are withheld and are not available online, say, in the, the past five years? Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, the question was about standard operating procedures, which I believe uh, I have explained uh, to uh, the member, Mr. Koch. Uh, I do not have the information that Mr. Leon Pereira has asked for. Mr. Pritam Singh. So, Ms. thank you for sharing details of the SOP. Uh, just to clarify a point about the 25-year guideline, thereafter the public record is reviewed, it is then um, sent to the agency and the agency will comment on national security matters, personal issues. Uh, are those matters then redacted and the documents still released uh, to the National Archives or is the document considering uh, certain or because of certain national security concerns uh, the document isn't released at all? Uh, well, just, just that point of clarification. Mr. Speaker, sir, we will release documents that have met or have uh, addressed the concerns that I've listed before, which deal with national security, which deals with personal privacy, uh, as well as confidentiality obligations.